The first installation technique we will discuss is how to install Spiroacoustic Plus in a straight spiral duct. Prior to beginning the installation, ensure that you are wearing all the necessary personal protective equipment, PPE. This includes gloves and safety glasses. You may also use a dust mask if desired, but it is not necessary. For each of the following installation methods, you will need a ductboard knife, a measuring tape, a straight edge, a squeegee, UL181A approved tape, and something to mark the material, like a white pencil or a piece of chalk. Be careful when using the duckboard knife, as the sharp edge can easily cause injuries. Since Spiroacoustic Plus is designed to maintain self-applied pressure, most applications don't require mechanical fasteners. However, for applications where the diameter of the spiral pipe is greater than 60 inches across, mechanical fasteners should be used to ensure the insulation remains in place. First, ensure that you have a clean and dry work surface. Also note that for each Spiroacoustic Plus fitting, you will want to reduce the circumferential measurement of the duct by approximately 3 quarters of an inch when you measure and cut the insulation. This will ensure that the Spiroacoustic Plus fits snugly inside the duct or fitting. In order to install Spiroacoustic Plus in a straight run, first calculate the circumference of the pipe by multiplying pi times the diameter. Measure and cut the insulation lengthwise to approximately 3 quarters of an inch less than the exact circumference of the duct. Roll the section, secure the butt edges with tape cross tabs, and finish by securing the seam longitudinally from end to end with a UL181A approved closure tape. Run the squeegee firmly along the tape until you can see the scrim pattern through the tape. Then, buckle the liner into a heart shape, ensuring the buckled crease is not at the butt seam, and insert it into the duct. When you release the insulation, it will snap into place, fitting securely inside the duct.